Hi everyone, today's headlines. Forgive and let peace prevail for posterity, says Chief Minister Nifirio. Naga Late awarded Alpha Grade in Mountaineering course. Nagaland State Cooperative Bank Limited posts surplus after recovering Rs 3,954 lakh loss. Nagaland receives Rs 377.5 crore as PDRD grant. Shamadur District approves creation of 23 departments. News in details. Forgive and let peace prevail for posterity, says Chief Minister Nifirio. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifirio on Friday urged the Angami community to be united, forgive, contribute towards welfare of all Nagas and let peace prevail for posterity. He was addressing the Golden Jubilee celebration of the Angami Public Organization, the apex tribal body of the Angami Naga tribe, at Kauchesi in Koima. On reaching the 50-year milestone, Rio paid homage to the founding leaders of the APO led by its first president, Zappa Visi, in 1972, amid turmoil with a vision for the people, brought the masses together. Paving the way for development, he also acknowledged the contribution and efforts of the APO leaders in successive terms. Naga Late awarded Alpha Grade in Mountaineering course. A Naga Late has completed search and rescue training, a prestigious mountaineering course from Nehru Institute of Mountaineering, Uttaragashi in Uttaragan and has been awarded with Alpha Grade. An update received here on Friday informed that Krakutuli was one of the three trainees from the Northeast who had successfully completed the course at NIM. Kenso was the first person from Nagaland to serve as an instructor in Himalayan Mountaineering Institute in 2018 and 2019, it was informed. He has also completed basic mountaineering course, advanced mountaineering course with alpha grades from National Institute of Mountaineering and Elite Sports. Nagaland State Cooperative Bank Limited post surplus after recovering Rs 3,954 lakh loss. The objective of the bank should be to serve the people but unfortunately in the context of Nagaland, in many cases the customers end up requesting and begging the banks to provide services, reminded Bentang Tula Jamir, additional register of Cooperative Societies Nagaland. Jamir was speaking at the 52nd Annual General Meeting of Nagaland State Cooperative Bank Limited on Friday at the head office conference hall in Dimapur. She asserted that with commercial and private banks weighing to get maximum customers, cooperative bank should take extra efforts to provide better and customer-friendly services. She said that NSTCB may not have better equipment and technology, but it can be courteous, hospitable, and friendly. Jamie reminded the gathering that customers do not need banks, but banks need customers. NSTCB has some structural changes and is progressing, but we cannot complacent and much more need to be done to accomplish the vision and mission with which the bank was up to, she added. Nagaland receives Rs. 377.50 crore as PDRD grant. Nagaland received Rs. 377.50 crore as post-devaluation revenue deficit grant out of Rs. 7,183.42 crore released to 14 states for the financial year 2022-23 by the Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance on April 7. Ministry of Finance on Friday updated that the amount released is the first monthly installment of PDRD grant the grant has been released as per the recommendation of the 15th Finance Commission. The recommended grant for Nagaland was Rs 4,530 crore and the amount released as first installment for the month of April 2022 was Rs 377.50 crore as revealed by the Ministry of Finance. The grant will be released by the Department of Expenditure in 12 equated monthly installments. Shamadur District approves creation of 23 departments. Shamadur District Planning and Development has approved creation of 23 departments and to upgrade 12 departments in the district. The decision to this effect was unanimously taken during its first DPDB meeting held in the conference hall of the Deputy Commissioner Office on April 6 under the chairmanship of the advisor of IPR and Village Guards, S. Kyoshe Yumkyung, a DIPR report stated. The House also approved setting up of government primary schools in Longtu and Moit villages under Kishore Block as well as the government primary school in Konangpong village under Shamadur Block and the Baptist school in Shotukor village. Besides, the House has approved to upgrade Temjing Memorial School at Kudur village to class 
9 and 10. Report stated that the Deputy Commissioner of Shamadur, Zuvise Fuji, has welcomed all the members while the chairman highlighted the history of the Shamadur town and also thanked all the officers of the district for their services. That's all for now. To get such don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.